And we are streaming! Hello everybody and welcome to Tiles of Confusion for the 25th of June 2021. How are we all doing today? I can see three people in the queue, so I am going to immediately jump in. This is Rise, Prospero, Rumi, and myself. Good luck all, let's see how this goes. Hello and goodbye, Rise. <laughs> Yeah, Rise is usually only here for the first um, match of the night because he's mentioned work a few times. So, you know, th this, is, this is about all the conversation I tend to have with him. Also, hello Puffin, how are we doing? Okay, so our runner form has been reasonable. We did actually go negative in the last stream, but really we went 3-2-2. It was just that our second place in the second game wasn't enough to negate how pitiful our third place was. In the first game, so hoping to at least get some positives out of this one. We'll see. This is a reasonable starting hand. Glad to hear. It's even more reasonable now we hit the middle tile immediately. Uh, no point in calling Norse at this point. Uh, I'll keep an eye on the queueage just to make sure. But well, this is this is rapid. I could I could have a turn three temp by here. Reach Pin Fudora. This is extremely rapid. Three six nine Manzu gets us there. Or 6-9, obviously, but... But potentially extremely rapid hand. I mean, this is a free hand hand. It's perfectly fine. And to become dealer. Rice has gone for the early call, which is fair enough. I'm just hoping we can get 6-9 here and just go straight for the free-sided. Can't do it. Alright, let's cut that first. There's still a chance that we draw the 6 here, and then we can... Can we get Sanchiku out of this? Seems unlikely unless we pair something up. Nah, Sanchiku's unlikely, but we'll keep the slight possibility here. I'm annoyed that you have discarded so many of my winners at this point. Or what I assume to be my winners, Prospero. But against one core, we can discard Vidora. Pair of eights. Well, let's bluff something. I, I don't think it's necessarily bluff here. We are exactly as close as we appear to be, but you know. Fortunately, we were beaten to the punch. There's two Easts out, so that should be fine. Eight pin is also safe to Prospero, which is good to know. That's a little awkward. We can cut seven. It's unlikely he wants middle Manzu, but... Yeah, this is tricky on this one. Can we fight six against this? I'm honestly not certain we can, so I'm going to cut my Norse and we might divert into Tanyo. We're not definitely out of this hand, but um, six so being proven safe would do a lot for our cause. See, that's almost ideal. No, I think we're going to have to pass this one against the dealer push. <sighs> nine has passed. It seems unlikely he's on the six nine, though. We've already got the Dora, which is now dodgy. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to play that eight and fold this one and just see how it goes. Also, hello, demo. Yeah, it's a shame because if we had a force, if we had a force of six, we might have got there. Oh, we could have played eight, actually. Oh, well. Doesn't, doesn't particularly matter. We'd need to cut so much to make this work anyway, but... But I should be paying slightly more attention to the, um, the discards at this point. Uh, 
Either way, we're fine for the end of this unless something happens. Ryan's discarding what he drew. Likely staying in Tenpai. We could have, we could have had Ryan Tenpai if we'd have been able to play it, but White Seven. So a Reach Nomi, well, Reach Dragon potentially. It's a shame we had a fast hand. This one also is quite quick. Uh, let's cut the initial nine here. So two sequences, pair, closed bit, and we'll see. Yeah, eight's turned me further away, so we'll do that. So if we can luck into the force, though, we have Tempai reach Pin Fudora. And we probably reach this to become dealer anyway. If we if we're waiting on the four so. That's an interesting draw for us, actually. Does that change anything? Not especially, because we're probably gonna have to cut the four pin for a pair anyway. Making that a little awkward. So early reach from Rise. Okay, so our man was a bit dodgy there. I was actually debating on how likely he was to be on a four pin, which he, I mean, to be fair, we have very little information, but he could have played one free to try and get himself there. Still, I'm not going to complain. That's um, put us into second. We are now the dealer. We have, unfortunately, the worst of our free starting hands, and we weren't able to convert the other two. Um, I had no interest in calling that. I mean, we could have gone for a Tanya, but with Sanzo being one of the things we need for that, yeah, we can hold off. Yeah, that's far more helpful, so that allows us to consider this as a 1-4 waiting. But, hey. Okay, so we have Demo and Piffle's currently queued up. If I see two more, um, we will start a second game off. Uh, we'll play South. Okay, well, Rai's still on the attack. And playing Middle Dora in his initial phase. We're not that far away, though. One so, four so, nine man. Or pairing up either of the other things would be useful. Open card. So, Honitsu, most likely. He has given us additional Dora, though. We'll play a CG to what he's already run. God, I wish he even rises Tempai with that, unfortunately, because it's an open card. He could have done that out of um, random wanting to, but um, seems unlikely. We're not a million miles away from this, you know. I'm wondering if we want to five kind of we want to abort it this. If we have a chance to pound the five, I might do it to abort. It's dodgy, dodgy as anything, but you know. No, I'm not gonna take that. We like we like having the Frisanzo as a safe tile here. Well, what I got is I'm thinking that one man might be dodgy here. He's probably on a Manzi weight of some kind. He's played two free already, but it's just the impression I'm getting.
But we're two away whichever way we're going with this. Oh, six can't be played. Am I out? Am I just out here? Well, that passed. We badly need six though to pass, so unfortunately. I don't know where all the fours are though, so. Okay, six passed. That was risky, but we have a Dora free hand here, and we are at the point where we can reach. Well, I think we'll risk it even with a six here if we get it. There aren't a lot of winners on the other side of it, though. Carning here is interesting. For a few reasons, but we're not going to do it. We have we have the option. If if it would if it draw the game, I'd definitely can. But still, Ishanten. We can technically still get to Tempai here. You see this with the high say, depressingly. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh, that's the Hanuman against me. Can't do much about that, unfortunately. Although, if we'd have can't, we'd have changed that up. But we'd have put ourselves in a worse position to do so. Alright, door two. So, first thing when you got there are two, how easy is it to get to Tanyo? It's not really in this case, we've got too many to get rid of. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to play this without necessarily calling that four if we get a chance. Not impossible, but awkward. And we'll give up the dragon here. So, we got three close weights we need to fill in, at least two of them, really. North isn't helping. Okay, five isn't five is useful, so we'll cut the nine seven here, unless we draw something connected to the seven pre before that happens. Um and also this allows us to cut the nine. So I am looking now back to Tanya again. And I was say it wasn't something we were considering, but we can fill that in, close to seven, cut the one. Both of them kind of lose some what we're doing. Or do we go pairs? Pairs is interesting, so I'm going to keep on with this half plan for the moment. We can also Tanya Toy Toy this if we want to. But with middle tiles all the way, it's going to be awkward to get. And that actually probably confirms what we're going for here. So we're Ishanten now, 9-pin, 8-pin, 1-man for 7 pairs on one of the remaining things. And since we think Rumi's going for that, we're not going to give Rumi any help here if we can. Thankfully they're about the same odds as each other. Each other. Rise obviously... It's, it's still the case. Um... But I'm happy to play definite terminals against him here. We are not going to be calling any tiles at this point, I don't think. But we've just got to keep an eye on what's going on. Oh, that's depressing. If we could have doubled down, we'd have made it. All right, eight pins now. Least less likely of these three. Also safe tile to this guard, though. There we go. So seven pairs... Dora 2. If we sumo, we Hanuman. Well, 
what that will do. Reach Tito Dora. Alright, Mungan puts us back into solid second. So we're happy with that. This, however, we need to deal with now. We don't want Rise having a deal of turn if we want to have any shot at catching him. We might not be able to, but we're only 16 down now, so... So, we're going eyes forward with this. Well, I say, it's starting to a little slow, but it's it's starting to get there now. Dora. So, one, five, nine to get rid of, really. And Rise is just already there, depressingly. Not much you can do here. We'll have to play how we assume at this point. Yeah, red should be fine. Dora Sun. This is a strong attack hand here. He's played three two so, so one so might actually be safe based on that. Yeah. I'd say the problem is he can be technically waiting on mostly anything. Follow up with what we know for the moment. Four's not helping us either, so. No. Now, Ryze is attempting to show off his luck at the moment, which is fair enough. Luck happens. Imagine the dodge him, though, which is the important bit. Uh, yeah, that makes our job harder. 21k. Not insurmountable by any stretch. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the game's not being nice to give us a cocky attempt just yet. We'll wait for a better one. If this is the cocky attempt for this stream, yeah, we, we, we can wait. Couple of nines, couple of sevens, couple of twos. So, options here. Probably not necessarily going for Cheetoy, but... But we're not ruling it out just yet. All right, Rumi Dragon Call. If Ruby's going to go for a quick attack, we've actually got no objections to this. Because on the defensive side of things, we have to consider that if Prospero hits Mangan, then we will fall to third. So it's not... While eyes are forward, we have to be aware that there is a backwards path. And that... I'm kind of thinking puts us on the Cheetoy plan, now that we've got four. Well, one's already played, so we'll probably have to get rid of that now. Mm, north's okay. One's uh, two Norths are out actually, so no, it's about the same weight. But the win that isn't yours for a Cheetoy weight is usually a good one, provided there's only maximum of one out. Butterflies here. Hello. One from Cheetoy. So seven pin. Nine man, one so. I think we'd prefer to be on the one so, but. No, oh, what's Rumi up to? Wait, I heard my haircut? When? <laughs> yeah, no, it was um, one of those things that lasted for too long. Oh, wait. Okay, we'll play seven pin now. Get rid of the risky tile now. Hope to go into double Dora then. So if we do go Cheetoy Dora 2, Hanuman if we Simo, of course. Oh, 
Or do we just Dama this? So we can go Dama, Cheetoy, Dora 2, and hope... Well, I don't think we'll necessarily get Rise anyway. But... But this Prospero is cool as well. So 1, 2, 3. He's played a lot of middle tiles. He could be going for a Chanter hand. Could be going for a Honitsu hand. I think the pause on the 6 suggests it's probably more likely to be the other way around with this. So I think 5 is probably going to be safer. Does mean, though, that we're in a weird position that our 1-9 might not be safe against this. Triple at the 7. I'm going to gamble this. Technically, the one's worse, but... He's played a lot more Manzu early, so... I don't know. It's a very loose justification, but I'm just... That's my assumption here. Chance to Sanchku? Nope, just Chance. So not too worried about that. Chance to become dealer is fine. We got Rise off the dealer button. We have three Dora in our opening hand, but the rest of the hand is kind of garbage. Um, we play four man and we just wait here. We we can't go shoot this. But. but if we can pair things up, we might be able to do something else. I don't know. Yeah, I'll move. To, I'll lean into the Honitsu side here. But we know South is dead, but it's a good safe tile, so we'll hold on to it. Getting there. White's also out, so the only last bonus star we can get is red. Could possible it see this, although. Well, we'll see. Sorry, babbling again, as always, but. Uh... Can't do anything with a nine, so. Can't do anything with the white dragon either, so. Ugh. We are one away from starting up a second table if anybody is around and is interested in joining us. You are more than welcome. Good draw. So closed four, closed seven. And hope to pass red or one in the meantime. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep South as our tile here. Problem with this now is that I think Red has um, been held too long for what we were doing. Although missing we had a slow hand, so there wasn't that we weren't in all likelihood we gonna get this far. The only plus is that we see where quite a lot of the Dora are at this stage. Well, that's a four pin, so Ishantin. Waiting on a red dragon only at the moment. But Ishantin for Adora free hand. 2 7 pins remaining. And hoping that somebody doesn't have a triplet of the reds. Hello, Mono, how are we doing? Oh, that's the other dragon. Come on, 7-pin or red? Seven pin or red, come on. Rice has had all the luck thus far. You owe me something, game. Oh, Rise is disconnected, but he's come straight back before I have to worry about that, so that's okay. And that's the deal, in. Eh? Yeah, somebody else had all the reds. <laughs> oh, glad we got rid of that a few turns earlier. 
Okay, well... That evens up the battle there. It actually secures me in second place a bit. We got a good starting hand, so let's see how this develops. Ishantan. Okay, somebody could have called that, so somebody with a questionable hand, I guess. We also have Mono joining us. We have four people ready for a game. So this is currently Demo, Piffles, Butterfly, Mono. Good luck to you all. Game start. And then we will go and do some inexpert analysis on that once this game ends. Oh, do we reach on this? Do I take the pair weight or do I go for the other thing? Oh, if I had Tanyo only, I'd probably be tempted to go for this. Ah, uh, we're gonna reach. There's an argument I should I should wait, but we'll reach. So Sanzo, four man. Neither of these likely, but two players who want to attack, I guess. So this is reach only. This there's no value on this one. But hopefully this will give us the chance to get some more. Uh, reach sumo or a flip and who knows hi larry oh and my cat is viewing outside or well, one of them oh we got the hit off rumi thank you sanzo unfortunately we didn't sumo and we didn't hit anything else with that so reach nomi 2000 plus my reach stick back so Gained a little bit on Rise. Gained a bit of a buffer to Rumi. Um, we have double south in our opening hand. Double white in our opening hand. So, yeah. We might go for another quick attack one here. We, of course, want to quick attack because we need to hit Rise if we can. We're probably slightly only cutting this one free. Okay. We get that. So White Dragon or the 2-5 for Reach, hopefully. Yeah, there's an argument we could have waited there. Oh, I've discarded Terriflet as a house in that round. And the pair we needed. Oh well, it's fine. Dora East, you say? I mean, this is a bit ambitious, so I like it. So, five pin or eight pin. Or another east, of course. Both are fine. Well, it's got to be an east now. Oh, I've got to fold it. Those are our options. Mm, safe for the moment. If I'm being safe, we might get out of the Prospero, hopefully. Five pin, eight pin. Second reach. Well, we have a green. Well, let's see how the reach-off goes. Two. 
Well, we gambled. No. Okay, this is probably acceptable. So Rise lost a number of points. Okay, so Rise loses a Mangan. We are now in 10,000 points. So we're in attack range. Rumi, though, is in attack range of us as well. Gonna be interesting, this one. Yeah, it, was, it was possibly a little aggressive to go for the East only, but with two reaches, and if they didn't have them, they would have been forced to continue. Well, we'll see. So here we're just hoping to fill up both of these and maybe pair up our one pin. If not, we're gonna have to play that for reach, I think. But Richie Peko would be fine here. Richie Peko Dora would be awesome. One closed. So we... We're not quite there yet, actually. A couple needed whichever way this goes. Oh, there's apologies going on. We like apologies. Um, I'm actually going to play 5 so 4 so here, largely because we want to maximize the chances of incorporating this Dora. And also there's a chance we can always drop something here to become a pair. So potentially be into a 9 pair, pin us our pair. That helps us out that way as well. Gives us also access to a possible Itsu. One down. Um... Nine pin. So if we draw... Well, let's see. There's an argument that probably wasn't the correct one, but I think that's fine. Guys, you have to tell me when somebody's not reacting or is basically AFK at the table. Because I can do things about that from my end. Alright, that's a little awkward. So, dealer push. We're not far away ourselves, but we are probably going to fold out. And we are. Unfortunate, but against the dealer push, the worst thing we can do is give them is just give them points. Which looks to be possible. No, didn't happen. No, well, that helps us out a little bit. Let's into potential for a ten position here. So we need two side to be proven safe at some point. Three threes are out. Need one more to possibly run it on that kind of basis, but... Even the one thing coming out would be fine for us as well. Puts it into a bad weight, but I'd take it. So Rise is pushing. Seven was played prior to reach. I think we might be out. Yeah, okay, we're out. That is unfortunate, but as I say, worst thing we can do is just give away points right now. Okay, so it's a cheap repeat, but 
again, better that somebody else dealt into that rather than me. Hand is okay. It's going to depend largely on whether we pair up the south and get something that gets in the middle of these ones. Oh, there's one. South would be awesome. Other than that, we can work with it. Okay, so we have 357 there as our weight there. We just need to pair up something here, preferably the 5 or one of these two. Uh, this could be potentially good enough. Green is off. So probably not Chanter based on that. So bonus tile and something. Okay, that's a half improvement on this side. So Toy Toy is the look of it. So defense against Toy Toy is discard what you see. So two of those. Don't have an easy in with this, it's gotta be honest, but Genius. Best draw would be pairing up the five right now. That gives us a two-sided weight. Alright, bad reach on the five pin. Go. Well, stuff is happening. I mean, we've got a low number of outs, but I've put some pressure on the table here. Unfortunately, people are using that to attack. As is the indicator as well, this has only got two remaining. It's a very low conversion rate, but... So I lost a thousand, Rumi lost two thousand. So technically, again, pluses. It's securing my second place. It unfortunately is giving Rise the win. Unless something ridiculous happens here. Right. Well, let's have a look. What can we do with this nonsense? Probably not the um, Kakashi hand here, but Chanter is very possible. A Chanter that's expensive enough to go for that, though. We've lost the ability to go for anything on that basis. Honitsu seems our best bet. Truth be told, so we're going to cut the two free, even though it's our more open weight tier. And look to go for Sozu Honitsu, I guess. Sozu Honitsu South. Chanter. There's ways this can work, but we need a lot to go in our favor to actually stop Rise here. Which is why we're going to aim for the Chanter side of it.
It also scores a second if this does work, so... But Rise dealing into us for a Mungan would be a tri would be a turnaround, so we can get the White Dragon. No. Well, doesn't matter. He beat us to it. We have the fast hand, and unfortunately, there's not much you can do against that. Still, we stayed out of trouble, and we got ourselves a second place. So, huzzah! Plus two. <laughs> Still making up points for my near disastrous third. Okay, well, let's go and watch the other game for a little bit here while we wait and see where they are. If they're going to be miles away, we might start another one off. If not, I'll just keep observing. So, let's have a look at how we are going with this then. So, we're at East 2. Um, Demos obviously had a couple of repeats, I think. Um, based on the score differences all over being all over the place. But um, Demo currently in the lead. Demo in the chunts for the um, current top position in this league. About 100 points behind Kyrol, so a good win here will half that deficit. But it is a tough table. Mono with two calls and still Ishantan. Piffle's up top, looking at... Um, hopefully he's now back online. At this stage of the proceedings. Then we're looking at a possible Itsu, possible Pinfu. Just a nice normalish hand, I would guess. Normalish hand with an extra door. It's always nice. But Mono's getting not a lot of help since he's made those calls. He can accept quite a lot to get uh, Tenpai now, though. 147 pin. Pivots with a counter reach. So reaching for the 8 man. Of which there are two left in the wall. One in Butterfly's hand, but doesn't. Well. It is surplus to requirements in the hand, but we'll see how it goes. Is it a possible Itsu? Not really. It's a, it's a 7 4, but you know. It's so nice to reach on the second time of asking. So 4 7 and Ipatsu. Sometimes you can just have all the luck. Reach Patsu Pinfu, Red 5, and Mangan for demo. Right, so we're going to continue following the north seat because because why not? Butterfly though has a double Dora half, um, double Dora and Dragon starting hand. Demo looks okay. Also has a pair of his own seat wind. Pivols has played two middle tiles from this and looks to just be trying to force that Honitsu, which makes sense given what the hand is currently looking like. And Butterfly is deciding to just go all out attack with that hand. You can also make it Toy Toy as well. So she has a backup plan in case she doesn't get that dragon. Which is always something worth considering. Meanwhile, Piffle's continuing to clear things. Yeah, so multiple pairs now. So Butterfly very much on the Toy Toy plan. Um, demo Ishantan with that second call. Come some more dragons. Piffles still culling some things. Butterfly deciding to take it and force for dragon only with Dora. Well, Dragon Dora 3 is still fine. But deciding the advancement is worth it. Meanwhile, Mono is also developing reasonably well. Okay, that puts Mono Ishanten. That puts Butterfly to Tempai waiting on the green dragon that is in Piffle's and Demo's hand. So that's going to come down to whether they want to play that. Okay, better Ishanten for Mono. So 
as this comes around here, if Pimbles doesn't play that green, I think this is looking quite good for Mono at the moment. I want to play that red five. Ooh, is it time? Is that deal in? No, Green Dragon is maintained. I mean, in fairness, Piffles is still quite away from Tempi with um, two calls, but... Well, now Demo has got the decision to make. Does, does the Green Dragon pass, in Demo's opinion? It does, but that's going to be a deal in. Butterfly should take, if not the lead, a significant chunk of Demo's points for that. Yep. So, game back on. Very much now back into a 30k game. And we're going to follow Piffles, who has a good starting hand. Not double Yappy High, unfortunately, because we're still in East Round, but um, potential here for sure. What are we looking at for the other ones? Mono's hand is decent. A couple of low runs. Could go for a chancer here, depending on what he wants to do. Uh, butterfly, a pair of beasts, and a hand that needs a lot of middle tiles. Oh, I got my one jammed in, game. <laughs> no worries, Rise. Thanks for joining us. And to be fair, it might take you up more than that. It depends how other games go today. But I'll catch you around, sir. So, Demo has just drawn Dora free. And isn't that far away from Tempai either. So... Well, this is going to be awkward here, because he's got, he needs to pair whatever he does, so... <laughs> yeah, true enough. But it could be more than that. Okay, Butterfly goes to Eshanten. Does that? Yeah, that's Butterfly Eshanten. Useful draw for Mono. That puts him... Does that put him Ishanta? Probably does, but obviously he's got decisions to make with this one. That's the one, which is probably the correct move. Okay, so after all from Piffles. Doesn't do a lot. Ouch. Sounds painful. We'll find out why in a few mo In fact, five minutes, I'm sure. Okay, so Butterfly has gone Tempai waiting on the 8 so. Evening, Carol. You've missed Rise having all of the jam. Well, I say he had all the jam. He hit a height. He hit a height a Mung Hanuman while I was dealer. Um, he was consistently first one going. Yeah, it's it might be generally been fine, but you know. Certainly better than last week, I'll say. Um, yeah, so I finished, I have another second place to add to my list. This one was actually worth some points, though, so at least there's that. And now we're just watching... Um, we're watching Demo have all the jam now. Although, admittingly, did deal into Butterfly for Among Us, so that has rebalanced the game a little bit. And that is... Oh, Pipples has chosen the right side to discard. <laughs> that puts Demo Ishanten with a different weight. Oh, if Pipples draws a five, so that's... Um... That's going to be unfortunate. Thankfully, I think the five so's are... Well, there's two of those left, actually. How many seven so's? Oh, free pin. That's not a tile you want to see right now, if you're Piffles. And he deals in with that. So, Butterfly retake... Um, well, takes the lead. I don't know if it was retaking, but it takes the lead, certainly. And East 4 continues.
So, Mono has a couple of shiny pieces in his hand. Demo one. Pivotal's unfortunately with a not great hand, from what I can see. Amber Vise needs a little bit of work, but yeah, Mono seems to have the hand at the moment between Mono and Demo, I guess. How will this develop? Well, we, we unfortunately, Mono's already spoiled this one, but you know. He's going to do something he shouldn't have done. <laughs> yeah, but de demos have de we've seen demo have his luck at the moment already. He was he was up a lot higher than this before um, a couple of hands ago. Still, we're waiting and seeing how Mono acts this. So possibly it's Sue coming up, which is probably the hand he's thinking about. Bonya. It's not really a meme, but. I can't see what else he's going for unless his hand massively upgrades in a little bit and just um, the Shuren Poto is on. Pass. Not that I am aware of, anyway. A bit more Sozi for Mono. Because his hand is starting to Get a little closer to something. So it's looking like Demo is going to be the second fastest, right this second, anyway. All right, Pibble's calls. Doesn't have a pair, but. But the hand's miles away from it, anything at this point, anyway, so. Uh, green only at the moment. Yeah, that's a that's a hard pass for me, I think. All right, so demo Ishanta. And takes for Tenpai, so eight so Yeah, so Mon is gonna get the possible Itsu Tenpai in a few moments and gonna deal in on that eight, so. We're about to see whether it's greed or whether it's actually the correct move. Oh, he does it early. I might consider that unforced. I don't know. I guess he's. I guess the five pin is dodgy to the person who is showing a Honitsu here. It's also dodgy to the person showing a Tanya, so who knows. I'd, I'd consider that an unforced error from Monu there. I think he had other options. Okay, so opening this up then, Butterfly has a interesting start. Um, Demo could have an, a Honitsu, depending on how his hand develops. Oh, that is, yeah, okay, ideal draw for Butterfly there. So, yeah, I think we know who's looking good for this one. Meanwhile... Mono develops Pivels is got a long way to go to turn his hand into something. And Butterfly does not take the south call at this point. Oh, early reach from demo. So that is a five-two pinfu. There's a potentially loose one in Mono's hand. And I don't think the heels will play a 2-5 at this point because he's both, but... He might do now. So, Ishanten. Um, we currently have two people queued up for a side game. I'm happy to play if, um, they're not, if we have one more. I know Rise left. Um, I don't know where Rumi's still around, but we potentially do have a side game if um, if we have one more. That is going to be unfortunate for Mono because I think that five now means 
It's okay waiting for me. <laughs> I don't know if I've missed the message there about pausing, but... Oh, there's video in from Mono. There we go. Reach into one. So that should put Demo back into the lead. Yeah, 44. South one, first repeat. So a couple of Dora in Butterflies, a couple of Dora in Monos. Demo has a very fast hand. If you can get that red dragon. But double south potentially for mono. Double south Tudora. In fact, there we go. Oh, does that not take it? It's just earning him a draw, but a useful draw anyway. But I'd have probably snapped gone for that. Double south Tudora. He's been, he's been rewarded, though, for not taking it straight away here. He's um, Ishantan. And there is the reach from Demo. Oh, that makes this awkward. Yeah, Mono's going to cut the south for safety. It's a 2-5 weight as well. All the fives are in people's hands, but there are still three available winners he can just draw. Butterflies now definitely are getting rid of that. It's incorporated. I think the others are technically as well, if you consider Piffle's hand as a 4 5 5 7. Well, no, there's decisions to make here, but I think he can play the one pin here. And he does. Butterfly E Shantan with Dora Dragons as well, which I've only just realised. Mono with Ishantan. No pair at the moment, but six pin passes. And that is Tempai waiting on four or five at the moment. I don't think you made four or five pass here, if I'm honest, but. I mean it. Of course you do. This this is you we're talking about here. <laughs> we would expect nothing less. Sumo. And Sumo. So Demo continues to build up. And he is a little bit away from Shades. Piffles is now under the Mungan deal in death range uh yeah okay so butterfly with a reasonably good hand uh north for yakuhai and just a generally quick ish hand from that demo dora sequence a little bit more awkward than the previous hands but now has double south so again the jam flow is still going strong mono three pairs now Need some work. Pibbles might have the best hand here, just objectively, but again. Oh, double Yaku high and then for demo. Seven pairs potentially as well. Yeah, okay. I can fully understand that. I'm surprised you're not going for more value, but then I guess you don't need to. I'd, I'd still be inclined to cut the one two there. Well, now it's Tempai on both east-south. Is there anybody who's going to beat that? Mono's debating the Toy Toy to Chi Toy switch at that point, I guess. Tanya, Chi Toy. Toy Toy to Chi Toy, I mean. Yeah, uh. 
I mean, Tanya Tito wouldn't be a bad way to go about that. We'll see. One pair dropped. Yeah, I think Pibbles might be going Cheetoy as well at the moment. It's a bit late for Mono to go for a Toy Toy now that he's delayed this long, unfortunately, but it might be worth considering here. Getting there. So that's the cut Vidora. So definitely deciding Tanya rather than going for Vidora weight. But he shan't end. Doesn't deal in with the Sanzo. But then he knew he wasn't going to deal in with the Sanzo. First triplet. Can he fully upgrade the hand? Then Butterfly is going to deal in as well. So another free hand dealer hand, 64. A demo now with shades and a strong 26k lead. And I was already picked started with Yakuhai, two pairs, <laughs> three pairs, sorry. Yeah, just, wow. Mind you, Mono's hand's quite good as well. Just looking up top there, that is a very quick Honitsu. If he want, if he can get that finished. Demo might be just going greed here and just going for an upgrade. Is Mono going to call to accelerate the Honitsu or not? Doesn't seem to be. I don't think Honitsu is his definition of memes here, so he's got to hope for another triple or two. Yeah, he's going for triples. He also has a card of the five, so so you know that could also be his definition of meme. Yeah, that one I think has slightly overplayed the hand here. I think by getting rid of connecting tiles early. I mean, he's got enough of a lead that he's not going to be the end of it. It's just you know. I think the two, the initial two eight was a mistake, but well, when I cut the free save from this, okay, things speeding up. This would be so much better from Mono's perspective if this was south, or at least. Something he could use as a bonus part pair, but here comes some carnage. Well, he shan't in. Yeah, not the only one. So two players, Ishanta in here, and there's the reach. Eight north. So three winners remaining. But he has performed the Khan reach. Butterfly hits Tenpai on the four-man as well. Four-man, unfortunately, looks a bit... Well, we'll see. It's always a... Two of them in somebody's hand. Can you play the eight against that? But if I does. So, apparently Reach and One is Mono's definition of a uh, meme hand these days. Although, you know. Could have been more. And puts Mono a lot closer in the battle for second place then. So, uh, we are continuing to follow the North Seat for reasons that escape me. Um, so, Dora Dragon... For demo at this point, one completed sequence, and then not, not that bad. Um, Butterfly has three Dora in hand, and it looks like the fastest of the hands that are out there. There. Oh no, I'm not saying it's bad either. I'm just saying that that's his definition of a meme these days. Bonya. 
Uh, we're still waiting for one more to start up a, um, a side game if um, somebody else is around. I think mean being bad is implied, although it shouldn't be. All right, Pibbles with a quick attack. Um, for, yeah, Tenpai waiting on the green. So, okay, that's fair. It's early enough that that's a reasonable wait. True. Would have added free to it, so it would have been Mangan Hanuman. If you're not having fun with Mahjong, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> no, please let me win this hand. <laughs> oh dear. The pleading has started early, I think. Now, people decide to switch away from the dragon weight for a six. I, I'm not a fan of that play, but I guess he assumes that somebody's got a triplet of the greens at this point. Also, so those who are reasonably cheap on board. Switches to a nine. I mean, same numbers, and he's got the win, so yeah, there. Hucko only. Thousand points to become dealer. And get him out of that Mangan deal in range. But I doubt Demo's going to complain too much about that one. All right, so South free. So we're going to follow the North seat because also Mono has implied something interesting is going to happen here. Ah, uh, he's going to get a Suanko attempt. Find yourself in a fair fight. There's something wrong with your tactic. Yeah. I mean, nine wasn't an obvious deal into anybody as far as I could see, but, you know, I don't think Demo's going to care too much at this point. Although, admittedly, you never, you don't really want to touch Kemi into uh, players who haven't been, who haven't had their last dealer turn. Because there's always the chance they can string something together. Yeah, I mean, Mono might as well be going for the sort of San Anko Toy Toy hand here because you know you've now just got your second triplet. You have you're very early in the game. Cut the dragon and go. I don't quite know what you're waiting for here. Well, Pivot's on the attack, so Dealer going for a Tanya. And is Actually Tempo with it. No, no, no pair. No, that's a pair. What am I talking about? So four so. So call for Tempo as dealer. Yeah. And there's a deal in. <laughs> so Pivot's winning a thousand points at a time. And if you can keep doing that, you can win. <laughs> or at least put yourself back into the battle for seconds. So, a free Han Sumo would be enough for Pivot to just take second place right now. Well, you might get a free Han Sumo with that. We'll see. Uh, Butterfly's hand is... Awkward, but does have the double south in the south seat, so could be improved. Demo doesn't have the greatest of hands in terms of speed, but we'll keep it. We'll keep an eye on that. That could that could turn into a um, cheat toy later down the line, depending on how this works out. But oh, he can get for his own Suanko attempt actually. Let's let's try that. Mono debating the one at this point. Doesn't and is rewarded for Adora. And butterflies off. So a good win from Butterfly will pretty much secure seconds.
Double South Dora, we'd consider a good win in this position. That gets you out of Mungan range from Mono. So... It will require something monumental on that side. So Mono also is now Ishanten for Itsudora 2. Also, somebody has a Khan ability. That would be Demo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, extremely dodgy. But I guess what else is Mono going to do here? He needs he needs to attack and he needs to win first. Ultimately, I guess you could have played the two so on the basis that you're probably going to play that at some point during the progression if you definitely are forcing this. But there's a chance you can just go for the more reliable Pinfu as well. So. Although, mainly to cut the pin to get pin two, you'd have to cut nine seven or cut Medora. So maybe it's serious to play here. Who knows? Well, we'll see. Six pin continues. Yeah, they, the, the two being Vidora is a slightly awkward bit, although it was safe a couple of turns ago. That's going to be dealing, and there we go. No. So, just for 2,000. But now, Mono or Piffles need a Hanuman to take third, to take second at this point. So, or a direct hit, obviously, but... That makes their job a lot harder in terms of things. Mung and Sumo, I think, would be in... Actually, let me go to Balea. What do they actually need? Uh, Mung and Sumo would be enough for Mono. It would actually be enough for Piffles as well, actually, with the Ming Vidila. Well, Piffles versus Mono, then, for second. For, yeah. I mean, Demo just has to just sit there and do nothing. Or just, you know, win to stop... I mean, but fair, Butterfly repeats are the only thing Demo is worrying about right now. So play aggressive until you know that Piffles uh, Butterfly is close, and then play safe after that, I guess, maybe. I mean, Demo could go for a Honitsu here quite easily, based on what we can see. Mono's hand looks pretty decent up top. Butterfly needs a little bit of work, but again, any hand will do. Piffles... Not sure how Piffles gets a Mungan from that, unfortunately. Oh, let's see. I mean, Pivotal only needs um, 2,000 to actually go up a position, so... Alright, Butterfly Ishanten. Well, I mean, if he wants the game to end, and if he, you know, he thinks he can um, out-accelerate Butterfly to a win, I don't see what the problem is with that. But yeah, he don't, he's not forced to push, I think is the point. If he wants to, he can back out. So, Mono, then Ishanten for Chitoy. And Demo's hand's still progressing quite nicely up there, actually. Could also be going for Cheetoy himself at this point. Alright, Reach from Pivotal's waiting on a 7-9 pair weight. Has got to Dora, so Reach Dora 2. Versus that Reach, so... Yeah, Pivotal's is effectively dead because all of them are stuck in people's hands and useful. Uh, so that's just unfortunate. Butterflies definitely has more outs. So the question, I suppose, is how many wins can you get, and is it going to be enough? There's a sumo. So 
So reached into Sumo, got the Euro as well, so that's Mangan. Okay, Mangan number one. Gap now down. To 13-6. So, Mangan Sumo puts the gap within a thousand points. Hanuman Sumo wins the game. Both Mono and Piffles have Dragon and... Well, Piffles more so than Mono, a quick hand to try and get out of this. Or at least gain one position. In, in both cases, for Mono and Piffles now, this is more sort of a fight to not be last. <laughs> I think. 27 is a lot to ask of a non-dealer hand. Short of nonsense. Demo, though, is probably in a more position where he needs to try and force the game. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, it is, actually. But... Yeah, I was calculating on dealer but yeah. Absolute chaos would have to happen for this to become a West Rambo. <laughs> Especially since we have head bump rather than uh, double runs. I know one of my cats is viewing outside. I may have to go and um, just see what she wants. Okay, so call and going for the Tanyo for a quick repeat. So Tanyo Dora 1. Puts the gap to within a free hand sumo, I think. Well, we are gonna re we are gonna wash the last hand, Mono. So something's going to be observed, but um, we assume therefore that this isn't it. Not just because Butterfly is Ishanten, and I know we're five minutes of got to pass here. Well, 4-7 for Butterfly then. Yep, we do have a Cheetoy Tempi from Piffle, so Cheetoy Dora 2, Reach. I mean, that's a Hanuman. It'd take a lot, it'd take a deal in, I don't think deal in's gonna be enough. 12, yeah, 12k dealing wouldn't be enough, so they have to somehow get Byman here, hopefully Ura Dura as well. So, 2, 2 for Ura, reach, only 7. Hope for some carnage, maybe? Sometimes the game will not allow you to draw tiles. I'll start up another round in a little bit, but I do want to watch this at the moment. And Sumo for Butterfly. So Tanya won. Puts the gap down to 8,200. So Freehand Sumo would be enough. All right. <laughs> Yeah, Pebbles with a good hand here. Butterfly's hand is slow, unfortunately. Demos looks pretty good. Mono. 32k. So at this point, yeah, you need um, Byman direct hits to meaningfully change position. At least from Mono's perspective. Meanwhile... Little hands he's getting there. Let's 
So what's people looking at here? Just Tanyo and Dora to take the lead. It's. I mean, what's the gap between these two? It's um, yeah, three two. But with two bonuses, that's an extra six hundred on the pot. So reach Tanyo is enough with that. Reach Tanyo one is enough to um, change the position, even if it's a hit from somebody else. Mono Ishanten as well. Uh, is Hills looking to get Sanchiku as well? With that cut? I'm just trying to work that out. So, a pair of fives. Okay, so reaching with that. Fortunately, no Sanchiku, but it is Reach Tanyo Dora. Two, actually. And Mono with a decision to make cuts for six. At the moment. What's Demo up to? Demo is looking okay there, actually. <laughs> Mono's still drawing nine pins. <laughs> One more of those will do. Don't worry, you can get the fourth. That, that, that's a con, right? <laughs> Officially, no, but... So, Mono is just trying to protect his uh, position now. 4-pin is a winning tile for him, so, yep. Actually, all the 4-pins are with Demo. <laughs> It's also for a 10, which I've just realized now, but yeah. Nope, decides to call to cut the for a 10, so now onto two pin. Hello, Jasper. Mono earns some points. Um, I mean, in all honesty, yeah, everybody's allowed to join in. There is, there is no um, limitation on things for this. Um, information and drawings below. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jasper. But yeah, no, we're, we're always happy to have some new people around, because especially as we are at that um, critical point of having seven people here. So, yeah, we're always happy to have additional people, because that means we've got more chance of getting two games going on at once. Welcome. Ignore Mono. Mono cheats. He's also very new here. Indeed. Yeah, very, very, very new. All right, so we currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people joining. So oh, we have now nine people joining in. So I'm going to have to roll off to do this at the moment. So bear with. Because I was playing random things, I actually have a dice for this. So the person who is not going to go in is going to be player one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a break and I'm going to actually do some commentary on this. So I just need to shuffle people up a moment. Oh, now we're back down to eight. I'm going to change people wrong. That's a joke. Indeed he does. All right. So currently we have Prospero, Chiral, Demo, Butterfly, Jesper, Mono, myself, and Dai Kendon, who I assume is John, who is going to get into game one. So one to seven. Let's roll. And we roll a six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Puts Mono into the game against the new player. So that'll be fine. One to six. Is six that puts me in the game as well, and one to five this time. Three puts. Oh, why did I put myself on a really bad? Are you good at the game? I'm just going to ask this because this is going to be a really tough table. So it's Daiken on mono, myself, and demo on this game. Um, the other one, which is going to start up, is going to be Prospero, Chiral, Jesper, and by the way, there are there are no good ta good tables to put you on. I've got to be honest. Sorry. Also, for some reason, that's kind of bugged as I was trying to add people on, so bear with. Yep, Prospero's in. Jesper's in. The other game starts up as well. Good luck. These are tough tables. I've got to say lies to Mono there. Lies. 
I wasn't implying that. I'll just re that's what I was realizing with this. Both of these tables are really tough. What happened to all of our beginner players who turned up occasionally? Alright, we'll start with a one man here. Um, what are my options with this hand? Not a lot that's great in all honesty, but, you know. No, oh, okay. Well, we'll just cut a pair of ones. Because we can. So, Demi to my right, who is... Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to enjoy this. I did beat Mono the last time I played against him, though, so there's at least that coming for me. Demo, however, has a good tendency to steal all my luck. Take a chance to have an exciting game. Yeah, this is going to be something, I think. I don't mind. I, I, I like uh, my challenge, as you know. And on my day, I can beat any of these players. Well, on, on your day, and with the amount of luck, you beat anybody. But yeah, this is definitely a high-level table. I'm just hoping I haven't thrown up again on the, on the weekend. At the um, well, actually, let's let's actually check his stats here. Let's let's be fair to him. Uh, adept with okay, not much I can really say on that one. Let's hope he. I mean, he might he might be good. Who knows? We, there are certainly good players here with low score counts. I mean, what's demo? What's Mono here? He's still, yeah, basically the same score. He's as good as Mono based on that. Demo, I think, is Master 1. I'm fairly sure, yeah. Uh, south, since that is not coming. Anyway, we've reached the second row, and I really have had no major progression here. But Red Dragon means I can play Red. Maybe I should have just gone for a Nageshi with us, who knows. Still free away from anything at this point. And Demo's just played a Dora, so Demo's gotta be close. It's not impossible we can progress from here, but it's... I'm probably going to be the player who's folding this one out. We've discarded all three whites, so this is only correct. Uh, six pin... No, we're still two away. Even with six A draw, sorry. And we'd be relying on getting that Dora at the moment. That being said, nobody's really made a move. We're four discards from the end. Huh? Alright, Demo's gone for it. So that's call for Tempai, probably. Oh, we have two safe tiles against that. There's the reach from Dai Kendon, so first attack reach from him. One of them with options. I, mean, I have safe tiles for this, so I'm probably just going to play these out. Two more draws. We have one so, two so with safe tiles, so this should be fine. Yeah, we just didn't get we just didn't get to ten by with this one, unfortunately, which does happen. And it's Haite. So Haite Sumo. For Mangan. Yeah, a little fortunate, but that's not a bad that's not a bad one. Seven eight irregular weight, hoping for Dora, I guess. And Okay. First strike has been done. We are now the dealer. Start with South. Our hand is decent. 
we can get a 7 pin early, it's amazing. Three pins are partial help for us, but not a major one. Stay a while! Stay forever! <laughs> oh boy. He's had one of those starts, apparently. Seven pin. I'm just gonna play nine. So, we're kind of... Because... Playing two makes a bit of sense here. Um, also opens up the Itsu play, I guess. But really, we're hoping for a Frieza here so we can just have Pinfu. Oh, we can get for Tanyo now. Okay, well, that wasn't how I drew it up, but Tanyo is now very much a thing we can just take. So, deal a Tanyo repeat. Okay, Mono with a call. We now switch to Tanya. Technically we can go into a double free so wait here if it comes to it. Depends what Mono gives us, I guess. Yeah, we'll take that. So we're into free free remaining, but we'll take the two four wait here. So this is Call for Tenpai, which is a move I do a lot. But this is called for any Tenpai that works. So we take the Tanya to just um, take a repeat, but uh, 1,500 points rather, I'm dealer. So 1,500 points and we go again. Right, well, let's start with a seven man here. So hoping to pair one of these two up in the very initial phases, and if we don't, we'll just um, hope to get this. Mono is determined to start first. So we don't have time to wait around and hope for these. We have one Dora, so if we can get the early two pin, that's fine. If we get the four pin, we can swap it around. Get another three pin, I'm happy with that as well. Any of the low pins would be fine. So both of them have called for their seat wind only. Which is not what you want to see when you have a dealer typically, but hey. I apologize if you can hear him way. <laughs> Guess you're just very aware it's feeding time, but uh, banners will wait for that. Uh, yeah, we've waited too late on that. We're going to keep the white dragon for the time being. Might be a problem later, but. Well, you never know, we can always draw a second. That being said, though, yeah, let's go for it now. That being said, so the ideal draw for us now is just complete one of these two and be waiting on the other one. We like waiting on them, generally speaking, but you never know. All right, there's another five. Huh? So we've made nothing but... Regularly, <laughs> at least. <laughs> we've played nothing but Manzi tiles at this point, so... I don't want to give that information away. Playing the nine would give some information away. We've hit double Dora. Well, now we're going to have to. So now we need to progress this in a different direction here, I think. I can't do anything with a two-man. 
Oh, also, I've got a red bar on my connection just briefly there, so, okay. Apparently fine, but hey. The worst thing for us now, I guess, is that we're in a position where we might have to cut an Adora to be in Tenpai, but... But now we have another option. Ah! Oh. Well, we'll take that on a deserved thing there because that sequencing didn't really work out for us at all. Still, Toy Toy 52. Puts me down to last, means I've got some work to do. But yeah, if we'd have, um, if we'd have gone rid of the Sozi side of the weight, which was potentially more callable, but. I mean, to be fair, that was uh, that was something I should have been aware of with a one, the one up, two up. But but hey, these things happen. And yeah, if I'd, if I'd have got rid of a Sozu instead, that'd actually been ideal for us because I think that would have given us sequence. We'd have got rid of our uh, closed weights as well. Plenty of things that could have happened from that. Um, we will play East. Bonya. Okay, Dai Kandong takes another one. So I don't know that we're necessarily going for pairs or anything of that nature, but it's huh? an option we have here. I'm just going to give everybody their bonus tiles. We'll, we'll let them continue on from there. And we'll hope to get the high value things. Or at least just get a complete hand. Okay, that's an okay draw. So, probably going to be using one and as our pair here. Maybe. Well, we've, re we've risked the free man early enough, so I think we're okay. Five gives us Ishantin on that end of it. And we know one man should be relatively safe if we need to cut that pair. I guess we're just looking for tempo indicators on the other two. Free man, six man, not necessarily, but... Could have been. You know where all the whites are, so that's okay. Any whites on the one man now are... Uh, exactly what they seem. So nine from the hand. Five's a good draw. Gonna cut the one man rather than three here, because we can... It doesn't upgrade it, but I feel this is probably the safer route to take. Potentially puts us into a 5 8 um, Sozu weight. Doesn't put us into a 2 5 8 though. And now we can Tanyo it. So if we get the ability to call here, we can just take it that way around. Oh, that's an unfortunate pair weight, in all honesty. Not much to do about that. Out of East 1 now. Hooray! <laughs> well, we still have a deal turn left, so we're not worried. But this is definitely getting towards the concerning side. I mean, we're not at any risk of dealing in and just busting out, which is the important stage here. And... We are getting some luck. So we're probably going to end up culling this north pair relatively soon. In fact, we're going to do it now. We've got a little bit of advancement here. And just seeing if we can progress this over here. Nobody wants to give Kyra his Itsu. <laughs> Oh, 
I mean, to be fair, it's so much better for the table if you have a Yakla Stempai rather than the Itsu. I think the table demands that you have the Yakla Stempai rather than the Itsu if they're good. Demo is not happy that they've been culling the nine says. I mean, we're not happy that either, actually, because this makes this sweet slightly worse, but hey. Yeah, I'm not deciding to go for it, which is fair. We call the other side of that. Okay, mm possible Sanji Q. So we're going to force the Tanya side of this weight a bit earlier, especially since we know that we're not getting the 9 on this side. Interesting. We might regret that move in a little bit, but we'll see. I'm going to Dharma this. I'm going to Dharma this because there's a chance that we can change this a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I should have actually thought about the Sanchiku a little earlier, but we do have a win. We can take the win here on the free, so. Free man, but I don't think it's likely, so. We'll give it a turn or two. All right, reach 5-8. That's, that's a better reach. So reach, reach. We'd have been all right in the free man. <laughs> Dora. And we'll take the win off of Demo. And we must hit Samura. Reach, Simples, Red 5, and Ura for Mungan. All right, well, that puts us back in the second. We are 13k behind Daikendon, who is no longer going to be dealer. We have Double South. Well, one away from Double South in the South round. This looks pretty good. We're going to go White to start. Bonya. There we go, the media extra draw. Mine's better than yours. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to force this into anything else. There is a Honitsu Itsu available, I guess, but... There's also a Chancer available as a thing we could be going for with this, but yeah. I think the overall game plan is just... Um... Try to get a pair and try to, you know... Try to just get this done. Become dealer. There, there is a marginal chance that we get Chancer here rather than that. So we're going to incorporate that chance even though the six is a better thing to have. And now we're going to cull it entirely because we're clearly now going for an Itsu. <laughs> Alright, Tempai waiting on the 7. No Itsu anymore, but double south. It's four calls, I don't think anyone's playing a seven, so, but. That I like better. Yeah, we're gonna go that way around. 
I like that better. So this is the 2-9. This seems far more likely. Than in 7, anyway. Genius. Hasn't actually changed our number of winners, but I like this more. They're depressing when you came the seven, so, but oh well. No, it's just the incidental battle of who's got the most outs here and who's going to have that lucky draw, or rather unlucky draw. But given how cheap Sozu are, nine should come out of somebody, you'd think. I got so lucky with most of my draws happen to be his. <laughs> oh, eight's not safe. So you went for the early Honitsu, yeah. Well, I forced him into a really cheap hand, so I'll take that on Melons, but um... But we had Tenpai. We chose the bad weight and apparently it didn't pay off for us. Honestly, it was three sevens versus the two so, nine so, three outs from there, and I felt that was a better weight. And it probably was, but... These things happen. Well, again, we've given Mono an early one. Bonya. An early two. So, are we Chinitsuing this? I think we might be thinking about something in that area. Okay, let's um, let's commit. Now oh, Hatsu outside, which was the second option for what he might have had. So we dropped a third with that one. And again, we have a hand that could be Sozu Honitsu. Not guaranteed to be at this point, so we'll play around it, but it's the thing I like. Mono keeps calling from me. Trying to get a little bit of a complex there, I think. I mean, it's fine. We know we have to worry about him anyway, but I do not like him advancing hands like that. Okay. I think Sozi Honitsu is the play now. It's not impossible that we Chinitsu this either, because we've got pairs of seven, pair of four, though the, the four is more likely to be used than the other things. So I think we might go aggressive here if we get a chance. We could, of course, always bail out and go for Tanya. We just have to cut the green for that. But if we get an early free so or just pair up a two so, then we are in business, I think, for just going for this.
not be the only one doing that either. Uh, we don't want nine particularly. I think we might have to abandon this and go for Tanya at this point because we've not really made a lot of progress in this part. Also, two of those going is awkward. Problem I think we've majorly got is that this green can't really do a lot for us here. Well, we've made the start. So we're getting close, we're two away at this point. Six nine. Doesn't do a lot for us. Red we can play. We need green to pass, ultimately. <sighs> two live dragons is really annoying. Do our dragons might actually put us out of this, I don't know. So Ishanta and Dragon Dragon. No, we have a safe tile to the reach. Don't like it, but if we can't play Ivy Dragon, then it's better for us to just safety this one out. White, so that was safe to go. Don't know about the other side. Okay. Well, Mono remains in the dealer position. We have a reach stick and free currently in the middle. That is a good draw. Let's get rid of a dragon early this time. North doesn't help us. Yeah, six is potentially useful. Um, let's get white. Okay, interesting. So that gives us the potential e in here. It gives us also the ability to potentially go into a seven pairs scenario. Yeah, seven pairs is looking okay here. e for seven pairs. So I say that'd be a great time to draw another one. All right. Well, triplet isn't bad. Triplet means we've got other options. Played a triplet in a nine, so if he's going for a chanter, he doesn't want that. No, nope, that's the big reach. We've got a double CG with a force, though, but that's really the it in terms of what we can progress with it. Or we can go for the big play. Counter reach. Four man. Cheetoy. Hey, 
Yeah, both Sujis are fine. <laughs> In fact, I've got the Suji to both that. So this this four. Who knows? There's only two, but it doesn't seem as bad as I thought it might be. Who knows? Oh, Kandor, please. Oh, I've got more chance of Hanuman sumoing this, I guess. That's brave. As a, well, actually, no, five was played by Mono, so Mono's being brave, but you know. Mono doesn't want middle Manzi tiles if he gets one. I've got five more draws, so, you know. Let's see. They did Sanzo. Never is attacking. And that's for dealing. That equalizes the game a little bit. Puts me in dealer position, but that's not how I would have wanted that drawn out. That being said, I'm not sure what I could have done differently, particularly. Uh, I'm going to play the seven man now. Keep one, keep these and hope to pair one of them up here. Triple over sevens. Well play south. Since it's been proven safe by mono. Play red over white. And then we'll see what we can do. Okay, so we have triplet, three pairs. Toto is very much something I would go for at this point. But it's not a definite. Yeah, five pins good. So that helps towards the non toy toy plan. Well, we have a safe tile to the reach. And we're in trouble here, I think. You shan't turn, technically. Mine's live. Ugh. Not want to be doing this as dealer. But I'm not sure we've got a lot of choice here. Oh, let me get that as well. Well, that undoes that. Yeah, I can't even do this. I, because of various things. We know the five will pass. We know we don't know the green will though. 
East is fine. It's really painful because we really should be going for this, but... No, three pin passing is a useful info. Five also passing is useful info. It's only possible that we can hit to Tempi still, but it's it's tricky. Now it's pretty much impossible. All right, what were you waiting on? And if it's the green dragon. Okay, so I was correct. Green dragon. <laughs> yeah, we, we needed to get into a situation where we only had the green dragon as a winning tile. All right, so we're in a very tight third second that to third at the moment. We are, however, only in a 30k game, so it's not impossible that we can just turn this around with any kind of significant win. The question is... Can we do anything? One has got a long pause in this first one, so... Nine abortion? Now we'll keep an eye on what he's up to. And we're going to keep playing the whites here. We're going to try and eliminate that possibility here. Genius. Man, he might not have been doing that. There might have been another fort entirely, but, you know. Peregrines, you say? Hey, I still have my chance. Yeah, I think Mono's got a nine start. I think that's what the pause was about. Question is, how close is he going to be to it? I'm not too, too worried. I have a triplet of the ones here. So, and there's quite a lot that is now critical on for him. But we're going to keep an eye on what we know and see if we can definitely close something out for that. Well, simples, so 27. Okay, so West round possibilities then. We see with a reasonable hand here. We go into West. We have triple. We're 11, 17 down. So we need a Hanneman officially, but I think we might be able to manage with this. I think the plan here is to go Toy Toy Dora and see what we can do with Carnage. She's going to go massively aggressively from the start here, see if we can get this done. If we can't, then Cheetoy, Dora, reach and hope to just win on the spot. Last leaning us more towards Cheetoy, reach. Fortunately, I've discarded the wrong tiles for this, but hey. Red five, you say. Well, white Dora two. Blundus. All right, this is not the correct move, but we're going to go for it anyway. Because I have two Dora, toy toy, mangan. Well, let's put some shiny things out. There's a lot against us with this, but that is the start. So we need to Khan as well, really, because we can't use this second one. So currently it's going to be Toy Toy White and One. 
which is manga. Well, we're going to wait. I need to hit. I need to sumo or hit Dai Kendon. Or Khan, of course. Khan is something I would like to do. Yeah, he had eights as well. And actually going for the same hand as me. Well, that was a thing. That's pretty much as much as I could really do at that point. Not a lot I could do in that position. I was tempai for Toy Toy Dora in my hand as well, but didn't come up, so not able to take advantage of that. Anyway. Let's go and observe how the other game is going in because Jesper's going to be really upset by something in about five minutes time. So I am going to observe and we may have a rematch. Let's see. So we're following Chiral as current dealer. So Jesper with an awkward opener. Yeah, Jesper has an awkward starting hand here. So if this is going to be a quick finish, then... Yeah, butterfly looking good there. Two Dora, multi pairs. Dragon that can be gone as well. Prospero is looking quite quick up top. Yeah, just for just unfortunately not able to do much with this. Also, Kyra's on 62k at the moment, so. So clearly things need to change there. We also know now what the never-ending um, East was about, because Cairo was doing it. Okay, so that's Call cool Butterfly for Tempai. So, Dragon Tour 2. Turn to wait as well, because this might be over relatively quickly, and then we can shuffle up the tables again. Prospero hitting Ishantem with that. Carol moving towards a Chinitsu quite rapidly here. Yeah? See how he handles the one-seat hands. So that is Tempai for Prospero. Just working that out. I think it is. Yeah, it's Tempai waiting on the seven. So amazingly, but you might as well take a Tempai. He decides to go for South instead. Jesper Ishanten. No. And a deal in from Prospero, so that is Chun Dora 3. Yeah, I mean, Jesper was a long way back with that, so... Well, we can watch the end of this, or we can start another game up. Um, currently, Demo is the only person queued, but if we have the same three people as last time, I'm happy to do one more and have a rematch. If not, we'll wait till this and we'll shuffle the table around, because I want at least one more today. Okay, we should also probably follow the dealer, because, you know. So, dealer calls.
Jesper's hand looks decent up top. Butterfly goes to Yishanten. And yeah, Jesper also, yeah, that could be okay for Jesper here. Double, double Dora could begin a comeback with that. Well, there's the 4-7 wait. And that is not quite Sanchiku, unfortunately. But it is still Reach, Tenpai. Uh, yeah, Reach, Tanyo, Dora, Dora. <laughs> Have a Reach stick. Oh, boy. Well, the best I can say is interesting battle for second, <laughs> I guess. And then it didn't. Oh, dear. That happens. Well, two Dora, but otherwise not a not great hand for Butterfly there. Uh, yeah, we're hoping, Jesper. We're hoping. Because your starting hand here isn't, t isn't terrible, but, you know. Just based on stat starting hands, I think it's a fairly... E well, you're ahead of Kyral, but Kyral's your closest match here. You're now Ishanten. Butterfly moving on up. Mm, tries to switch that around. I guess he's got to get rid of one of his pairs somewhat. Anyway, or draw the free man, so that doesn't do a lot to affect things, and also gives him an easier time of getting into Tanya with that. Yep. So now looking a bit more solidly into the Tanya position, and also gives him pin two as well. So six nine one four, triplet of the twos. So. You'd still probably cut one of those because you need a pair anyway, but yeah. But it gives him options. And potential carnage, which is sometimes a, sometimes a reasonable thing. And is that that is Ishantan for Prosper as well? So a few things going on here. Uh, does seven change the equation for Jesper at all? I'm not sure it does actually. Okay, so demo um, Daikendon queued up. I'm happy to queue up as well, and then we just need one more up as well if we can get in a second game going. Okay, Jesper Reach. Reach Ipatsu. Reach Patsu Pinfu Dora, if nothing else. Alright, well that puts Jesper back into the battle for second. I mean, this is still Kairos game to throw away at this point, but you know, it's nice that there is a battle going on for second now. Alright, the combat begins. Butterfly's hand looks amazing. I mean, admittedly you're in the south round now, but you know. 
Also, Jesper is the last dealer, so he's got that advantage going for him, I guess. Let's, uh, let's follow Prosper here. So a lot does need to happen for Carol to lose this, but, you know, the, the possibility is still there. Okay, so Butterfly going on the strength of potential double, yeah, well, single, yeah, Yaku high, but also could potentially squeeze that into um, into triplets, could potentially switch that into other things as well. So we shall see. So Prospero, hand not looking amazing, but again, any temp, any tempi, any win will do. This late in the game, and that's at least half. That's at least one step closer. So one completed sequence. That's the five rather than the east there. I think the east is still the correct cut though, because you can always draw a four, potentially give yourself another sequence that way, I suppose. You also have three pairs, so you're probably going to be using up one of those anyway, and if you use get rid of the three, you have a one, three, five. And yeah, you know, he's kind of sequencing that anyway, but he's still gonna to have to drop a pair or draw a couple of three so's. But like, can now have Tenpai on anything, and he's up. Prospero's now up to four pairs. Now cuts the east, which gives Ishan Sen for Butterfly and a threatening Toy Toy looking hand. And Prospero debating something here. I mean, green should be safe, two of them are out, but actually plays the one. Playing around the single way possibility, I guess. Now, Carol can throw over two nines and be relatively safe with those. Carol doesn't need to necessarily do much more in this game. He can just be passive and win at this point. Well, there's the first of Prospero's three free so he currently needs. Actually, no, in truth, one more would do. He then into a free six weight, so he shan't end. Yeah, both Jesper and Prospero potentially going to be stymied by that self in their hand here. Oh, Prospero can play seven safely. There comes the south from Jesper. So not many draws left, just trying to get to Tempai at this point. Because those 1500 points could be important. And he can call this for start the Tanya right, train, but he actually draws one anyway, so he's shouting then for Jesper. Well, I still not actually Tempi at this point, but free calls, nobody can assume you're not. Kyrol has hit Tempai himself, waiting on 8 pin 7 man. And there is a loose 7 man in Jesper's hand, so that's possibly a thing that's going to happen. Meanwhile, Butterfly has finally hit Tempai. As has Prospero. So it's a 3 6 pin food, well, 3 6 reach. Yeah, so 1 2 3 6, yeah. No, that's actually got, that's actually quite a good one. Was free here? No. No, no, ignore me. Free doesn't work. No, it is just a 1 2. And just for now, having to debate that 7. Please, the 2. He 
successfully plays around it. So well done. Carol's broken up his tempi, so seven is no longer a thing, and Prospero just goes Richipatsu Sumo and Dora. So Prospero goes into second with that. Okay, well Prospero now has a shot taking Kairos position here, especially given his opening hand is free Dora and very good. Kairos has started with a set of dragons though, so he could try for the over he could try and just outspeed him here. But yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be interesting, this one, I think. Kyle's wearing useful tile there as well. This 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 could be fun in a bit. We'll see. Yep, another useful draw. So, Carol's Ishanten. So, Prospero is a step behind now. Yep, better Ishanten for Cairo now. Prospero cut the nine earlier, which unfortunately makes that a backfire. Just for continuing. I mean, he's each chance for seven pairs, Dora free. So you know, there's there's that going for it. He could also call and go for triplets, but um, doesn't. Chiral takes the tempi on the four pin. So one played, one in Jesper's hand. That's not likely to come out. Two in the wall. Jesper going for the quick attack as well. And again. See, that might have been the point where I would have considered the Toy Toy route, but given that you've got two middle things and one of those is Vidora, I can see why it's not very likely. Carol taking the opening option of calling the four there, but doesn't improve his situation a great amount. Uh, changing his weight from four to three or five doesn't do a lot here. I think Jesper should have probably played the five. Well, actually, no, he knows the five is safe. Okay, so Tenpai waiting on two six. So Tanya Dora two. So everybody attacking now that Carol back. I mean, not impossible that Carol gets this, but... But things are going to get slowly more dodgy for him as this goes on. Although, in fairness, the, dealing into either person who isn't Prospero is fine. Yeah, this is a downside now, because now that makes this a very awkward thing. Door free, you really got to go with that. Cut the one and... Oh, okay. That's fine as well. Try to cut one of those things and just hope to draw and go into this. Oh, obvious end. I was hoping for some interesting finales. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching every single backfire at this point. <laughs> well, ability to switch and does. He's now about to draw a four pin, aren't you? Well, Jesper picks up the win and puts himself in a position where he might be able to might be able to advance. Well, he's last dealer. Points taken off Kyra. I suppose that means there's a, a chance Prospero could have taken the win here, but doesn't seem likely, given one hand. But let's see. Can Jesper pull for Miracle with what we know is probably going to be one hand? <laughs> Because unfortunately, the game is over. 
So Prospero Tudora. Uh, so, sorry, let me just go back here. What does Prospero actually need for this? He needs 18.6 is the difference. Yeah, it's a lot. Byman Sumo is what Prosper actually needs to overtake at this point. I mean, you had an insurmountable lead when I started watching, and now it's a lead that admittingly is still probably insurmountable, but the fact that there is now there are now specific hands that will do it. And I think, I mean, honestly, your call in that hand was a call for Tenpai, and it wasn't a bad thing, in my opinion, but... Well, Jesper has Tenpai on the four, man. <laughs> Fortunately, four men seem pretty much accounted for in everybody else's hand, but hey. Tenpai is Tenpai. And unfortunately, that probably kills that weight for Jesper, unless he can improve it. <laughs> you can't argue with the triplet of the reds. They were, they were far apart enough that it was worth it at each point. Holding on to the red for another four turns would have probably been costly for most games, so... Just unfortunate. I can change it. <laughs> he can. He can change it now if he wants to, but... Don't. And he does. Okay. Well, now it's a five-man wait. Well, feels tricky. Also is an interesting draw for Kyro. And that is Tenpai on the seven man for Butterfly. Prosper's hand is looking like it could actually make it to um, a hand that worries Kyro at this point. He's Tenpai. Seven, eight pin is not the worst of weights in this position. Decides not to take that, takes the 1-4, which I guess is for a 10, so I'm not sure why you would take that when you need the hit off Kyral, I think. Um, well, unless he hits free Ura, this is, uh, or Khans, this is kind of a doomed reach at this point, but... But he had the 8-9 pin, of the 8-7. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I would have played either the eight or the seven as it as it happens, but you know, had had he have set that up at least, there'd have been the chance of a deal in for the win. Well, simple Sanchkudora and game and tied position, so priority butterfly gets the second place. Okay. Well, I'm after one more game, so I'm going to kick somebody out of the current cube because there's four people there. Um, let's roll off for this then. So, where's this in my D6? Uh, so, one is Demo, two is Daikon, three is Prospero, four is Jesper. I roll a three. Sorry, Prospero. So, this is going to be Demo, on Jesper, and myself for the last game. And then, then I've got to do some preparation for um, various role-playing shenanigans tomorrow. And also potentially some Advance Wars stuff, but that's another thing. Uh, okay. So let's see what we can do. Starting south, doing some things. Well, I immediately have my draw skipped. Oh, well. 
Thankfully, I don't have a nine resale or something like that. Uh, yeah, pleased. I mean, that is probably the rule set it's going for. It's, it, well, did you say East only with other rules on? I can do what he wants to. I can't really worry about that at this point. Uh, good. I'll play South. South isn't doing a lot for us. So, 6-7, six, 6-7. Seven, six, seven. Interesting. So it looks like it might be a Honitsu up top. Or at least a Tan... No, a Tanya up top, sorry. Demo, Demo was the Shades of Honitsu, although... We'll see. Um, yeah, it's expensive for the moment. I don't want to give uh, Demo any more tiles, so we'll avoid throwing Sozy for the moment. A pin does nothing for me. And it just raised on Tanyo. It's Tanyo no Dora, so unless he's got anything else attached to it, I guess. Could have a dragon or something else, but. There's still only going to be 1,000, 2,000 points most, I think, so. So I guess we could be pushing stuff, I guess. Yeah, let's go with that. Honitsu is definitely worth more if we're going to deal into something. One green, two green. And no progress was made. Huh? Yep. Definitely worrying about the Honitsu here. And early call if he's got a Peridora. Absolutely. Well, we got one safe uh, Sozu discard. And that's the only one we're going to make. So I guess we play nine man. Well, we play eights for the moment, I guess. Yeah, no point in us going for this this late in the game anyway. We need exacting draws to hit Tempai in time, so we're not going to worry about it. I suppose it could be a chanter actually. Chance is the only other thing it could be that isn't Honitsu, but it's. I think it is Honitsu, but we're not going to take that risk. You can also play 4 pin for our last one to be safe. No. <laughs> oh, Jasper, that was a. I hope you had a really good hand. That is a given away, Hanneman. Well, dealer turn. Uh, start with self, see what we get. I mean, open hand. I didn't have Jesper's hand valued anywhere near that high end, because obviously we knew Vidora was 9, so if we were going Tanya, we didn't have it. So, I'm not sure what value he could have had, but... Uh, 
Yeah, Haite um, dealing to a Honitsu Dora Free. <laughs> Well, anyway, our dealer turn. We'll hold on to east, see if we can make something of that. Bonya. True, but this isn't east only. Let's <laughs> mm, cut the 9-8. Okay. Yeah, people are activating various things against me, which is not ideal. Still. Tanya rushed to become dealer. Okay, that's a good draw. Alright, Ishan turn. Preferably 5-pin, but um, I will do. Oh, I'm happy the yeast was just... I mean, to be fair, it was safe to demo anyway, but I'm happy the second one went. Alright, come on. Five pin, please. Okay. That's a little dodgy. Tell me we have other ways of through it now at this point, so T say does nothing. Uh, let's play the risky tile now. Yeah, we can potentially be rewarded for this. Let's see. We have a safe discard, I suppose, if we can get this into the other side of it. We see three sevens, so... It's relatively safe, not definitely though, missingly. And there's the deal in. So Chin Honitsu, Dai Kenton takes the lead. East three. Dora East. Let's see if we can draw a second one before um, it becomes a problem. Well, okay. Well, that's... That's just the thing. No Ipatsu for you. I'd love to do my usual thing of just attack into this, but honestly, Dora East. Unless I draw a second, this is kind of... Not going to happen. Well, cheap. Double reach, Nami. I'll take it. Not what we want, obviously, but not much I can do in that position. 
All right, so Dora and stuff. Yeah, I'm a lonely second Dan. I know my place. I've been there for about three years. Oh, except for the small stint when I was first Dan again. But we ignore that bit. <laughs> All right, double Dora. Okay. Need to cut a pair anyway, so we'll see. Okay, Nishanto. So a 2 5 pair weight's not the best, but I'll take it for door 2. Oh, we'll definitely take it if we can get it now. So it looks like Toy Toy Tanya of some sort. Yeah, that's what you're doing. So Tanya it is. And if I'm going to deal only for a 1300 hand, I'm not going to mess around with that too much. We had the better value hand, so worth us continuing. Okay, this is a strong start. East 4. 15 1 down. Alright, just but we're dragon one. Shantan. Uh, six nine spot wouldn't be the worst thing for us at this point, but most open to just hit two or four pin, just go for that. Yeah. That's a deal with that, that'd be really annoying. <laughs> That two calls, we have to assume Tempai, I guess. Mm. 
All right. Eight remaining reach. T5 into Dora. Thank you. So just we're obviously going to go for this. Debating. No reach for you. Well, we must hit some order. How many of those? Yeah, we hit one, thanks to um, the Khan. And we'll take a Mungan back, thank you very much. Alright, back into second. And in reasonable proximity to the lead as we go into south. Alright, green to start. We want to hold the south because we are double. Also, people gesturing. We will ignore it as we always do. All right, second dragon, unfortunately. This is unfortunately looking a bit too slow for what you want right now, but. But a pair of salves here would be awesome. If we could complete that. If not, we're probably just out of this. <sighs> Which I hate to say when I've got a two-door hand to become dealer, but... That would go south only for a, for a two-door, I guess. That's something we could try. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Doesn't change the equation of what we need there particularly. And gives us a backup pair. Alright, south been played. So we might be able to get rid of that in a moment. Seven's an okay draw, means we need the six. Well, I guess we got the eight then. So we're hoping for a 4-pin now. <laughs> the free was just played by Dai Kenon, so I assume he's in tempi with something. Or close to it with something. We'll carry on pushing. I mean, we could start calling cut the 9-8 and see what happens. Not an option I like, unfortunately, at least not with that. Because the triple sevens and the fact that we see two eights. Yeah, okay, we're gonna open this. Let's crack this open, see if we can actually steal a win. Or at least steal something.
Don't know if that's people being cautious enough for my purposes. Maybe I wasn't being cautious enough for my purposes. Yeah, so Pippi Dora. Well, we've become dealer. We are 7 4 down. Well, this is interesting. So, Sanchku, potentially. Probably red rather than white here because we want to push that side of things. So Sanzo like San Saman now. Uh, that would have been an ideal thing if I'd have done that the other way around, but alas. Or maybe we just go for the impossible dream. Actually, I'm more interested in just getting rid of things at the moment, so we'll hold off. I've discarded two pairs of dragons. In my last dealer turn. Just what we want to see. Yeah, I could have played this better. Not gonna lie. Trying to work out how we can get the seven past him at this point. That's which we probably can't. I mean, it's two anyway. Oh, this is awkward. Seven passes both. Much as I want to keep it. Two so passes on the left. One pins, we see them all. Two pins, we see most of them. Ugh. I hate folding out my dealer turn, but I feel that's the right call here. No. Well, that's secured a second again. Well, they're more readily secured a second. That's a Mungan there. So we are now, what? Nearly 16k down. More than that, really. 16.4. Two hands to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> I'm not really committing to this, but I don't know what I, Well, we'll see. Give it a couple of turns. North, north, west, west. We got one west. Six pin doesn't help. Yeah, we're going to go for the Hanitsu now.
No, I don't know what we're doing now. <laughs> we're just going for it. Going for it. I guess. So east, north, green. Let's get rid of the middle ones first because they're going to be the more problematic ones. East, north, green, ninth. Nine, so. Yeah, we know we're not calling from the moment, so. If we want more, I should probably play this first. But still, all the east are started. There's one north left. Oh, the double door is passed. Oh, this would be a fun time to draw north. North, east, and nine. Nines are still out. East is still out. One north remaining. No. Well, we will never know. We will never know because that's the end of the game and I finish second. As I say, it was a long shot, but I've lost points again this stream despite 2 2 and 3. This is getting to be a bad habit. Yeah, 2 3, <laughs> never above 30k. Well, these sort of things happen, and that will, I think, do for tonight on my participation on this. As it's getting quite a bit late. So. Thanks for joining us, those who did. I will see you next week for some more confused tiles of Jongage, or whatever we call it. Until the next time. And yeah, it kind of did. Ah, well. Till then.